Yeah, OSDH has said that they are watching very closely for any cases of that Omicron variant here in our state. So far, no cases confirmed here. But I asked OU's chief COVID officer, Dr. Dale Bratzler, whether he thinks we'll see any cases of that variant and how quickly. I think it's probably inevitable that it gets here because people can freely you know, travel around the United States. So we're not going to stop it with state borders by any means. It's in Colorado. And even before Omicron's confirmed arrival, cases already up in our state. Some hospitalizations have been trending up slightly too. Dr. Bratzler says that's likely due to gatherings over the Thanksgiving holiday. Tonight he said no reason to panic over Omicron. There's still so much we just don't know about it. He says he's confident though that at the very least, it is spreading quickly. The first case was identified in the United States. Now there have been seven or eight cases as of this morning that have been identified in multiple different states. Um, so it seems to be living up to that um, concern that we heard out of South Africa. Dr. Bratzler alerting OU children's to be ready just in case they start seeing more children with the virus. And in the meantime, vaccination for COVID and for the flu critical right now. If we have a bad flu season and we have a new variant circulating on top of that, um, I think we could we could fill up our hospitals and really uh, struggle. So I am strongly encouraging people to take flu precautions, get their flu shots. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.